Amazon rainforest of Brazil, the largest rainforest on our planet and home to millions of species of flora and fauna, including 16,000 species of trees and 390 billion individual trees. Where have we gone wrong? Deforestation is occurring all around the world for reasons such as agriculture, logging, and other consumer needs such as palm oil extraction. Focusing in on Brazil, 80% of the Amazon forest that is cleared is used for cattle ranching. Deforestation and cattle ranching not only contribute to overall loss of habitats for many rainforest animals, but both are a major contributor to climate change. How you may ask? Trees are the filter for our Earth's air. They uptake CO2 from the environment, which is the largest greenhouse gas on our planet, and store it as carbon. In exchange, release oxygen. When they are cut down, not only can the trees no longer uptake CO2, which causes our planet to increase in temperature by keeping the sun's reflective heat in, but they release CO2 and other greenhouse gases as they decay. In addition, trees, through their large shadowing canopies, also help keep the ground cool and hold in moisture. While deforestation is an issue in and of itself, Cattle also contribute through the release of the most potent greenhouse gas, methane. Methane is created through their natural digestive processes. In fact, for every kilogram of beef produced, 22.6 kilograms of calculated CO2 is released into the atmosphere. What's driving the cattle industry in Brazil? Two of the major causes are the excessive demand for beef in countries like the US through social norms and corruption and lack of governance of the institutions of Brazil. In the US, beef is consumed at extremely high rates and is in fact the fourth leading consumer of beef in the world. The influence of social norms on beef consumption is incurring in both those who are skeptical and those who believe in climate change, and the high beef consumption habits are being passed on to their children, family, and friends. Cattle ranching is also continuing through the corruption and lack of governance in Brazil. As the number one beef exporter, the beef industry largely contributes to the economic wealth of the country, and while some policies have recently been put in place, governmental regulation appears to be a continued issue. As long as the demand outweighs the supply through cultural norms in high consumer countries and further policies are not implemented to protect our forests, we will continue to see a decline in natural lands. But is it too late, and what can we do? It all comes down to you. The decisions you make each day, such as recycle, reuse, and don't overconsume, can all protect our planet. Decreasing your beef consumption can have tremendous effects. In fact, if one stops eating meat altogether, they can save 3,000 pounds of CO2 per year. To find out how you can make an impact, please visit the following website. <laughs>